Frank, I'm sure you've seen a lot of resumes this year when you are hiring for your company. So what are the top three things that you are looking in a resume when you're leading, when you are reading? Um, well, I'll tell you what we're not looking for. One thing is too much like flash and sizzle. Mm -hmm. um, I think the fancier the resume, the more, uh, and, and it might look cool, um, but if a company is using an applicant tracking system or other screening mechanisms to screen candidates, it's actually going to put you at a disadvantage. So I think keep it simple. The, go back to basics with resumes is fine. Um, and there's other ways to stand out in your qualifications and other things besides and colors and graphics and things like that. So I would say that's an important thing is we do, we've seen an uptick of those types of resumes, which I feel like aren't as effective. Um, I, I would say I know for a, a resume tip would be um, be honest and clear on your qualifications because if you have a great resume that's sort of you know overinflated, you know, say you can do some things that you really can't, it's going to get found out on the on the eventually. Mm -hmm. um, probably when they, if the resume is the first step, you might get to the next phase of the interview process. And a lot of companies, even us, we have several phases of the interview process. So if you get to one or two or whatever that phase is where you're actually interacting with people and they're looking at your resume and asking questions, a lot of times what happens with us is we see people get exposed and they say they have a qualification that when we question it, they don't. Um, and then uh, it, it's not helpful to you because it makes you look bad, but then also for the employer, there's that sense of doubt in the applicant. So it's better to be honest. Yeah. If you have great traits and great skills and attributes, highlight them and focus on them. Um, and, and don't try to uh, take some, some qualities that you don't have and appear to be an expert because it's probably going to backfire. And as you mentioned, uh, applicant tracking system, it's uh, sometimes they check those keywords. So it's important to uh, have, have those keywords on your resume. And whenever you're applying to any job, adjust it so that it's very much aligned with the, what you're there looking for, correct? Absolutely, absolutely, yes. And is it important to also put accomplishments in every job? Like, what have I done? Like, I have increased employee engagement or I increased uh, customer satisfaction. Are, are those also important for employers? Well, like, like you said, um, if you're going to apply for a specific job, and it's funny because sometimes we'll get a resume and at the top of the resume, it's like looking for a job in marketing and communications. And I'm like, well, we're not a marketing communication. So <laughs> why are you applying here? So yeah. definitely look at you know, what you're putting in there. Yeah. Make sure it's tailored to the job description that you're applying for. But yeah, in roles that you've held, employers will look at certain things of how you brought value to that organization. If you've yeah. problem solved, accomplishments that you've made, mm -hmm. don't be afraid to make sure that you put some of that in your, in your resume. Because those are things that are going to be attractive to an employer. We, we're looking for good talent. Um, and hard, good talent is, is sometimes hard to come by. So make sure, don't, don't undersell yourself on a resume with, with accomplishments that you know that could be valuable to your, your next employer.